Sure is hot, Cartwright. No relief in sight, either. It's a scorcher, all right. That's what's worrying me. Worrying about the weather won't do any good? <laughs> no, weather may, may prevent my son Hoss from getting here with the cash on time. We got to five o'clock. Donor, is there any possibility of extending that deadline? I've told you, Mr. Cartwright. We've already got another offer for that land in cash. Now, I can't risk losing that to extend your option. I could pick up that option right this second if you'd only accept my bank draft for 12000 I don't understand you being so stubborn about it. Look, since the drought set in, we've accepted too many drafts that have turned out to be no good. Like this one here. I've got a whole drawer full of them. I'm sorry, but my clients insist on cash. Uh, cash. It wasn't such a good piece of land. But it is, Mr. Cartwright. And you know it. Yes, sir. Sure is a hot one. Don't make a move. Name's Deadman. I'm the county sheriff. Boy, I'm sure glad to see you. Getting a little jumpy with a lone rider coming up on me out here. What do you got to be jumpy about? Well, I mean, with the drought being what it is, there's quite a few hard cases roaming around. Yeah. Sorry about the gun. How about a cup of coffee? What's that for? I'd like to have a look in those saddlebags. Any objection? I don't think I have much choice, do I, Sheriff? Move back. You've got a lot of money here. I'm delivering it to Scotchburg for my paw. It's a land deal. You can prove that. Of course I can. Suppose you come with me and we do that. Come where? Dutchman's Flats, about eight miles yonder. Sheriff, look, I gotta be in Scotchburg at five o'clock this afternoon. You'll make it. Unless we stand here all day arguing about it. What are you going to charge me with? I could charge you with building a fire on rangeland or something more serious. Like what? Like maybe you're part of the gang that held up the bank at Dutchman's Flats and killed the teller. Now, you want to get on your horse and let's get this thing over with?
Well, it sure ain't much of a town, is it? It's a hot one, I'll say that. Think you could stand a cold beer? Yeah. Morning, Milt. Morning, yes. I can't remember it being so hot for so long. Too long. Everything's burnt to a crisp. Yeah, that's very... Jesse. Now, Milt, I know what you're gonna say. I must ask you again. If I can't extend credit, the farmers and ranchers are going to have to move out. And I can't do anything about that unless you give me a loan. Milt, you know as well as I do that since the robbery, the bank is almost without funds. Jesse, you've just got to do something. You're the banker in this town. People depend on you for help. Well, don't you think I know that? Well, then why don't you do something? What are you just sitting around for? Now, wait a minute. I'm getting sick and tired of you and everybody else in this town blaming me for this robbery. I lost as much, if not more, than anybody. Remember, it was my own son-in-law who was shot and killed. Now, that's all you have on your mind, Milt. I'm sorry, Jesse. It's just that I've got to say no to all those farmers that come to the store all the time. I told them I'd talk to you. What they don't understand is there's nothing I can do. If I only had a little more time, I've tried to negotiate a loan from every bank in this territory. But everybody is hit as hard with this drought as we are. Then I say this town is going to die. Just as sure as that dang sun comes up every morning. How's Marianne? How do you think she is? Her husband dead? Good day, Mary Ann. It's nice to see you about again. Well, Conley? I'm sorry, Larson. Wait a minute, don't give me that. The bank just turned me down. Look, I got a house full of kids and I'm not gonna let them go hungry. I can't give you what I haven't got. I got it right from a feller that talked to a feller who knew the brother of one of the men that was right there. Hockey, there was two bears. You know what he told me? I'll tell you what he told me, son. He told me there was grasshoppers. Millions of them. Fifty miles north of here. Just chewing up everything in sight. All right, you know Jeff. what? Here's money. Them grasshoppers is gonna be down on us as sure as shoot. There ain't no grasshoppers north of here, mister. Who told you that? Ain't nobody told us that. We just rode through there yesterday. I say there's grasshoppers up there, millions of them. And I say there ain't. That storekeeper, that no good tight right hypocrite, he won't give anybody any credit. Well, it's the drought, that's what's the trouble, Ned. It's that bank robber laid this town low. I tell you, them robbers got all their money. Yeah, there's nothing being done about him. Sheriff Stedman, he's riding all around the country, finding nothing. You, 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 you leave the sheriff out of it. I work for him and he's a good man. If you'd only let me wear a gun. Yeah, I know, I know. I was in the bank the day it happened. I could have prevented the whole thing. Yeah, Shooky, it's too hot to go through all that again. Yeah, but I mean... I've heard it 900 times in the last few weeks. Yeah, but I still could have prevented the whole thing. Yeah. Fight! <laughs> fight, fight! I'm coming! <laughs> Million grasshoppers? Yeah.
Wait a minute, wait a minute. It's too dang hot to fight about, grasshopper. Well, you're right. Have a beer. Wasn't much of a fight. Better no fight at all. Uh, at least it was a little excitement, huh? Uh, come on, Tim, let's get this place back together. Sure. Not much. Just hold it right there. All right, get down. All right, inside. Yeah, it must be something. Riding a $50 horse. Gee, sure is a big man. Oh, sure is. Just like the one. Like one what? I gotta give the sheriff a hand. What's going on, Sheriff? What does that fella do? Caught him starting a fire on Rangeland. Says his name's Cartwright. Oh. All right. Oh, now, Sheriff, come on, will you? He stole it? The sheriff knows where I got the money. Look, sheriff, I gotta be in Scottsburg in three hours. The sheriff's too smart to turn you loose. You might be a bank robber or some sheriff, such. Sheriff, look, all you gotta do is send a telegraph to the land office in Scottsburg. My Paul verify my story. You, you're awfully fidgety for an honest man. Shucky. Yes, sir? Go stable a man's horse. See that it's rubbed down. Right away, sheriff. Hey, Shucky. Uh -huh. Who was that the sheriff caught? Says his name is Cartwright. You know, he had $15,000 in gold in them saddlebags. 15000 in gold? Uh huh. You think he stole it? Wouldn't surprise me at all. Of course, he said he didn't, but being the sheriff, think he's lying. We're going to hold him in jail for a while. Um, I got some things to do. See you later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Barber. Hey, McCray. Barber. McCray. McCray, listen. Stedman's caught himself a good one this time. You mean that fellow he brought in a while ago? Yeah, he had better than $20,000 in gold in his saddlebag. You know who he is? Well, his name is Cartwright or something like that. Listen, I'll see you later, okay? Hey. He must be the one. Hey, make yourselves home. I'll be right back. $20,000, huh? Well, you're not in any of these wanted posters. That ain't too surprising. Sheriff, are you going to send that telegram or not? Yep. I guess I'll send it now. I wish it wasn't so blasted hot. I just wanted to congratulate you. About what? Oh, now, don't be so modest. Here, yeah, let's uh, step in out of the heat for a minute. Sit down, Sheriff. Take a load off your feet. No, thanks. I haven't got much time. Larson tells me you caught us a big-time desperado. 
You mean that Cartwright fellow? That's right. The whole town's talking about it. That was pretty slick, catching him red-handed that way without even having to fire a shot. And I hear he was carrying 25,000 in bullion. 12,000, to be exact. Just about what they took from the bank. Just about. But that doesn't make him one of the robbers. No, but if he did turn out to be one of the robbers, that'd be quite a feather in your cap. Might even change this town's opinion of you. I'm gonna send a telegraph to Scottsburg. If they back up his story, I'm gonna let him go. Sheriff, just having that fellow in jail has had quite a stimulating effect on this town. Do you have to be in all that hurry to send it? Hey, Tom, I was just telling Connolly about that fellow you caught. Yeah. yeah, sure sounds like he could be one of the fellows who robbed the bank. All I know about him is what he's told me. You know, Sheriff, I never thought you'd do it. Do what? Well, do something about them robbers that ruined this town. Yeah. Well, we believe you now, Sheriff. And when the next elections come up, we'll be remembering it. We'll just do more than that. We'll buy you a drink right now. No, come I... Come on, Sheriff. Some checking. Oh, come on, come uh, on. Let's go come on, let's drink. Come on. Well, howdy, Sheriff. Glad to see you. Let me buy you a drink. Yeah, I, Sheriff. You deserve a free drink. You know, it's all around town that uh, you're pretty sure that Cartwright's one of the gang that robbed the bank. I didn't say that. Well, you're not saying he ain't either. It's all right, Sheriff. Shooky said he recognized him. Did Shooky say that? Well, not in so many words, but uh, we knew what he meant. Well, just having him in jail makes me feel a lot better. Me too. Got to hand it to you, Tom. Thanks for the beer, man. I got to send a telegraph. keeping an eye on things. Thanks, Shucky. Shucky, have you been telling folks around town that this fellow we got in here is one of the bank robbers? Well, I, I was in the bank when it happened, you know. You could identify him as one of the gang. Well, no, I, I, I didn't say that. I just said that one of the robbers was a big fellow, is all. If he was to go on trial, would you swear before a judge that he was there? Yes, sir. I could rightfully say that one of the robbers was a big fella and that he killed Fillmore's son-in-law. You could. Sheriff, are you going to hold him for trial? I don't know. I've got to do some checking. You stay here. You mean, you mean sit here and, and guard a desperate killer without a gun? Behind bars? Oh, well, nevertheless, it ain't. It just ain't right. I know, I just know that if I had a gun that day in the bank, I could have prevented the whole robbery. Sure you could. Sh Sheriff? Mr. Fillmore, I've been puzzled. 
What did you mean when you said not to be in any hurry to identify that prisoner? Oh, it wasn't important, Tom. I just uh, figured that maybe what this town needed was a good kick in the bridges to get moving again. And just having this fellow in jail might do just that. It hasn't been proven that he was one of the gang. I know that, Tom. But there's no harm in him just sitting there, is there? No. Tell me. If it turned out that he was one of the gang, what would happen? He'd go to trial, of course. I know that. What I mean is the money. It would come back to the bank. And that would just about put this town back on its feet, wouldn't it? It certainly would. And you would be the man who did it. Mary Ann, honey, you shouldn't be out in this heat. Mr. Connolly told me you caught the man who killed my husband. I'm afraid everybody's jumping to conclusions. Sure, I have a suspect, but so far I haven't any proof. Proof? Everyone in town knows he's the one who did it. Are you just going to sit around doing nothing as usual? Now, Mary Ann, the sheriff has done all he could. Has he? Your husband was a friend of mine. Honey, I don't want you to upset yourself. These last few days, you seem to be coming out of it. I don't want you to start brooding again. I'm going over to the jail and see the man who shot Ed. Now, you heard the sheriff say that he had no proof that it was the killer. Will you come with me or not? who killed my husband. I told you before, Mrs. Wilson, we're not sure. Ma'am, I ain't killed nobody. Get Chuki Summers in here. Now, Mary Ann, don't make a fuss. He was in the bank at the time of the killing. Maybe he can identify him. I have already talked to him about it. Now, I think we ought to let Shooky make his identification at the proper time. If we go dragging him in here now, we're liable to scare him into making a mistake. Sheriff, my husband has been dead for weeks. Will you please get Shooky in here and let him prove whether this man is the killer or not? Get him, Sheriff. He can tell you I'm not the killer. And maybe you'll let me out of here. Shooky? Yes, Sheriff. We want to see if you can identify the prisoner as the man that killed Ed Wilson. Sheriff, I... Shuki, come on. Just go right over well, you here. You see, Mrs. Wilson... Come on, Shuki. Oh, Take a good look at it. Now, look. Now, Shuki, you look at him and see if he isn't the man. Look at him. Well, it's... It's been a little while ago. Well, Shuki... You were the only one who was in the bank at the time. Don't you recognize him? Well, I didn't get a good look at him. You never saw me before today in your life. Now, you tell him that. Shooky. You be sure. Oh, Shooky. You're the only one who can help me. Now, please. You know he's the man. Please help me. That's the one I saw, right? I can't understand it. I shall be here by now. Maybe you never got your telegram. Yeah. I better check on that. You know, you still got a little time on your option. Well, right now, the option isn't important. My son is. Except for your stubbornness about cash, I wouldn't have to be worrying about him now. I'm sorry, but that's the way it had to be. Just 
Street. Well, uh, I thought I recognized him when he first came into town. Yeah, well, you sure did the town a great favor, Shooky. <laughs> yeah, you sure did all right, Shook. <laughs> you know, that means we might get our money back. Yeah, yeah. for you. Come on, we'll take it out by your beard. Yeah, come on. Oh, come no, on. no, I, I gotta stay here and sit. Oh, just just a little while. He wants oh, me to stay here. Come here, come on. Let the widow through here, fellas. Come on. Right through here. Let the widow, let the widow. Oh, Tom, uh, how about letting us take a look at him, huh? Yeah, how about it, Sheriff? All right. All right, now, All right, boys. Let's get... no, wait a minute, now. Wait a minute, now. Wait a minute. We gotta do this orderly now. Okay, now. All right, All right you go. Now. Yeah, you go. All right. Okay. All right. You thief of murder. Uh, don't talk to the prisoner. Keep him moving. <laughs> They're gonna hang you, sure. I said, don't talk to the prisoner. Keep it moving now. Let everybody have a chance here. When's the trial going to be, Sheriff? Circuit judge won't be around for a few weeks. <laughs> That'll be something. And the hanging. I don't want to miss that. I'm afraid you won't see that, McCray. Move. Keep it moving. Why not? He Keep held up at the prison. Well, is that for sure? For sure. Shoot. I was counting on that hanging. Hmm. What happens to all that money? Go back to the bank as soon as the judge releases it. Why can't you go to the bank now? The town could sure use it. Because it's a law. That money stays right in that safe until the prisoner's found guilty. It's a shame. Seeing as how it's our money. Uh, don't talk to the prisoner. Keep yeah. him moving. That's a shame, McCray. Why don't you get out of here? Shooky, get these fellas out of here. All right, now, everybody, keep moving. Everybody, out. Everybody. Come on, Arthur. It's the thought of that Cartwright makes my blood boil. Him and that $50 horse. Yeah, well, I've been thinking of Cartwright, too. Can't you just imagine the high life he's been living? The liquor he's drunk, the women, the fine food he's been eating. Oh, he's had it real good. You can bet on that. That's his gravity, though. All that stolen blood money. He ain't gonna get away with it. Oh, he's probably gonna get off. My law wouldn't allow anything like that to happen. Yeah, men like him use the law, Ned. You get a smart lawyer and... Uh... Yeah, yeah, sure. Now, why didn't I think of that? Them outlaws know all the ins and outs. Why, they could even... They... That's what I mean, that's what I mean. Well, he can't get away with that. It's up to good people in this town to see that he don't. But nothing's gonna happen. Unless maybe, uh... Maybe you got an idea, Ned? Well, might have. Yeah. Yeah, just might have. I never seen it so hot. You know, Tibbs, that old jail over there ain't nothing but an old broken down cracker box. Yeah. Twenty thousand. Sure is a powerful lot of money. That's a lot more than I've ever seen. Me too. You thinking what I'm thinking? When it gets dark. Ned Larson here's got something important to say. Yeah, I sure do. Listen, that thief and murder sitting up in our jail, that, that, that Cartwright fella's gonna get off scot-free if we give him half a chance. He's right. Yeah, he's right. Ed Wilson was a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. Yeah. I say it's up to us to punch the fella that shot him down in cold blood. I say we take care of that fella ourselves. That's right, yeah. Yeah.
What's all the shouting about? I ain't sure, but I got a pretty good idea. Sheriff! 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 You gotta do something about it. I mean, they're up there talking about a lynching. Lynching? Oh, that's probably just talk. <laughs> Not just talk. I mean, they're gonna do it. They're talking about putting a, putting a rope around his neck and, and lynching him. Jerry, you gotta do something Sheriff, about it. Sheriff, you're drunk. Now, you get inside, get some coffee and sober up. I'm gonna need you. And you, you get over to that saloon and try to talk some sense into those fellas. Well, you're the sheriff, Tom. Isn't that your job? There's a telegraph we didn't send that just might have proved that man in there is innocent. Hey, what's all the ruckus out there? Uh, oh, no, nothing. Just, uh, just some of the fellas booting it up a little, is all. Well, how come you ain't hooping it up? Oh, Sheriff said he wanted me to stay here. He said he needed my help. Mm, your help, huh? Like the way you put the finger on me? Well, uh, least you can do is give me a cup of that coffee. Sure. Here you go. Thanks. Why did you do it, little man? Cartwright, put him down. Now you go get some sleep somewhere. Ain't a man here didn't know Ed Wilson. There wasn't a finer man in this town than Ed Wilson. Now, how many of you fellas got hurt when this, this Cartwright fella stole all your money out of the bank? We gonna let him get away with it? No. Well, I say we ought to string him up right no, here as now. Listen to me. Listen. Oh, you shut up, Fillmore. I won't. Well, then get out of here. Let's listen to what he has to say. Uh, Men, we cannot take the law into our own hands. Oh, wait a minute. You're going to listen to a man who won't help his own neighbors? No. 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 You're going to listen to a tight-fisted money grabber that won't give any of us any credit? I can't give you any credit. I haven't anything left to give. Oh. Now, Ed Wilson was my son-in-law. And if he were here now, he would say to all of you, don't stain my name with blood. I agree with Mr. Fillmore. Now, you keep out of this, Conley. Now, please, all of you, go home. Before you do something, you'll regret for the rest of your lives. I'll buy you a drink. That's Fillmore. Oh, money bags. I shouldn't have listened to him. He don't care if this town dies. Yeah. Forget it. It's all over. Might as well go home. Buy you fellers one more drink on the house. Yeah, all right, Ned. Might as well, nothing's gonna happen anyhow. That Cartwright's gonna go free. And tomorrow, things are gonna be just the same. It's gonna be hot. Sheriff, what happened? Two fellas busted in here and tried to free that Cartwright. Is that true, Sheriff? We heard him coming, and me and the Sheriff drove him off. But one of them winged the Sheriff. We'll organize a posse and take after him, Sheriff. Go on home. We'll get some guns and be right back, Sheriff. I catch you with guns, you're going to be right in there with him. Sheriff, sure, can go down to the saloon and get me some whiskey for this arm? Right, Sheriff. What were those shots? Cartwright's gang tried to bust him out of jail. Yeah, I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to be just a question of time. Will somebody come up here and try to bust him out of here? Now, you want to make one of your fancy speeches about the law taking its course? Now, listen to me. Don't you now listen to me, Moneybags. And you keep out of this, you're going to wish you had. 
Let's round everybody up and meet at the saloon. Wait a minute. Okay. Wait a minute. You all right, Tom? I live. Think those men were really trying to get Cartwright out of here? Well, it's a cinch they were trying to get in here for something. Well, that could prove that he was guilty, couldn't it? It also proved that they were after that $12,000 I got there in the safe. Sheriff, I had no connection with those two men, and you know it. You're a liar. A dirty, rotten liar. Marianne, I wish you would stay out of this. I can't stay out of it. Now, listen to me. Tom is still not sure that we have the right man. Not sure. Well, I don't care if you're sure or not, because he's going to get it. You're going to get it, big man. You might be able to fool my father and the sheriff here, but not for long, because there are other men in this town, real men, and they're not... Li you listen to me. They're not going to let you get away with it. They're going to come in here and drag you out, and they're going to put a rope around your neck for killing my Ed. Mary Ann... Don't touch me! Sheriff, the men's gathering around the saloon talking lynching again. Shut up. What's he talking about, Sheriff? It's all that talk about lynching. Just some of the boys down at the saloon got too much of this loud mouth. I can handle it. You can handle it. Sheriff, you know I ain't guilty. You know it. I said I could handle it. You got nothing to worry about it. Didn't mean the sheriff drive off those fellas and try to bust you out. I of told you I didn't have nothing to do with them fellas. Look, Sheriff, you and me can sneak out of here the back way and, and take a little ride over to Scottsburg, and my Paul will prove to you who I am. Oh, you think he's going to go riding through the night with you and let something else happen? Will you shut up? What kind of a man are you, anyhow, Sheriff? A mob down there talking about lynching, and you ain't even willing to try to find out who I am. Well, them men busting in here prove pretty much who you are. Shucky, shut up. Go close the door and lock it. Where's McCray with that rope? Fillmore, you go home. Please, Ned, we're not sure he's guilty. We're still not sure. Well, maybe you're not sure, but we're sure. We've been sure all the time. Listen, you're not bad. Oh, keep money back. I told you to keep out of this. Now you go home. Will you go home? Go home! I got a nice thick one. Strong enough to hang a steer. Are you ready? Shut up, everybody! This ain't a carnival. We got a job to do. So help me God. All right, Shiki. You're a deputy, and here's that gun you've always wanted. Well, what do you want me to do? You're going to uphold the law, and that includes resisting lynchers. Oh, I, I can't do that. I mean, Lawson and McCray, they're our friends. When you're a deputy or a sheriff, you got no friends. Who is it, and what do you want? Ben Cartwright, let me in. You're holding my... Paul! The devil's going on here. Get his gun, Chucky. I want to talk to my son. Oh, 
Must be all right. Fine, Paul. What's happening here? I just came by the saloon. They're talking about lynching. What did you do? Paul, I didn't do nothing. Their bank was robbed here several days ago, and a fella got killed, and the sheriff he thinks it's me. He put me in here and put our money over there in that safe. Now, Sheriff, this is my son. Well, your son is suspected of murder. How do we know you ain't part of his gang? Two of them tried to bust him out of here. Shot the sheriff for the arm doing it. Chucky, shut up. Go outside and see what's going on. You all out of your minds. If your son's innocent, he'll go free. What about that mob out there? Are they going to wait for any proof of innocence? What about them? We'll take care of them. Oh, how? You and your deputy alone? Let's get it done. Yeah. 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 Here they come, Sheriff. You stay here. I'll talk to them. Talk to them? A simple telegraph could have established my son's identity. I got a telegraph from somebody called Fillmore. That's how I knew he was here. Fillmore sent you a telegraph? Yes, at Scottsburg. Bolt this out. I just a minute, folks. We think we just got proof that the man we got locked up in there is not the man that shot Ed Wilson. A little late for that, Sheriff. If he does turn out to be innocent, you're going to be sorry about this tomorrow. Quit talking, Tom. Get him out here. I can't do that. Now, you don't get out of the way. You ain't going to be Sheriff no longer. But I'm Sheriff now. So you folks go on home now. Going to shoot us, Tom? People that elected you to office? Try me. Tom, these are, these are your friends and neighbors. Still bigger. Come on, Pete. Come on, get him out of here. Give me one minute. You want to take a man's life, my son's life. Now, let me tell you something. You don't want to take his life. You want the money that was stolen from this town. Well, in that jailhouse, there's money, a lot of it. And it belongs to me, but you can have it, all of it. Just give my son one more day. Let him stay in that jail for one more day while I prove his innocence, and then you can keep the money. No strings attached. Just give me the time. Money. That's all you think about, the money. No one thinks about my husband. No one thinks about Ed. Don't you see? This is a trick. It's, it's a trick to stall for time. If they broke that man out of jail once a day and they're going to try it again. Are you going to let it happen? Larson, listen to me. What this man has said is right. You're all my friends and neighbors. I know how you feel, but please, don't do this terrible thing. I say hang them. Hang both of them. Cut him down. Oh, you're all alike. You're do-nothings. You're cowards. Well, I'm not. 
The man who killed my husband isn't going to get away with this. Marianne, no. No. Somebody get a doctor. All right, you're satisfied? Get on home. Now you lie down easy now. It's not a bad town, Mr. Cartwright. It's just that they quit being people for a while because they're hot and they're dry and they're broke. Yeah. I'm... I'm sorry, son. <laughs> <laughs> 